Hey guys, welcome to iFood Real Healthy Instant Pot Recipes YouTube channel. Today we are making Instant Pot whole chicken <laughs> from fresh. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna come out juicy, healthy, flavorful, and even with crispy skin on top. Let's do it. Hi guys! Hey guys! Hey guys! Hey guys! Hey guys! Hey Okay, so here I have three pounds chicken. Make sure your chicken is fully defrosted and remove the twine that holds the legs. Another big tip before you start going through all of this, make sure your chicken fits into your Instant Pot because it could happen. So here I have three pounds chicken and I'm going to trim some of the fatty butt cheeks and this recipe could not be easier. We take two cloves of freshly grated garlic and I'm gonna get my hands dirty, you can put gloves on, I don't care. And we're just gonna rub it all over chicken. Fresh garlic makes chicken super, super flavorful. And make sure to rub inside the cavity as well. And the wings and the legs because that's where the flavor is. Like if you will be eating it, rub it. So here I have simple spices, paprika, salt, and pepper. And we're just gonna sprinkle all around the chicken. I made a mistake before by making a paste with garlic and spices and then kind of like trying to rub, but garlic so soaked up a lot of dry rub and that was not a good idea. Then here I have six quart instant pot. So I think six quarts can fit up to five and a half, six pound chicken. Put trivet in and this is the one that came with six quart instant pot. It would be nice if you have one with handles to take it out. I have only for eight quart that one so I'll have to get creative. I'll show you how. Then you add one cup of water no matter the size of your instant pot eight four six five ten three whatever you just add one cup it's plenty to build the pressure and then we put chicken in here breast side up just so it's not sitting in water if you don't have trivet you can technically put um, chicken in instant pot it just will get more cooked on the bottom like more like soupy kind of like cooked and that's okay so then I take whatever is left in the bowl and I kind of like rub it, the garlic and spices on the chicken as well. And I would like to say that, see this PC Max two third line, talking about the size of the chicken. It's not applicable, it's only for a liquid. So your chicken can be pretty much going like this because there is all that space that's enough to build up the pressure. That's pretty much it. All we have to do is put the lid on a valve to filling, that's what keeps the pressure in. It's a habit, I just do it right after I put the lid on. The question is how long to cook chicken. So for fresh chicken, you cook six minutes on high pressure per pound. Six minutes per pound on high pressure. And we're gonna let Instant Pot come down naturally. No quick release with meat, especially the whole piece of meat like this, because it's pulling out moisture from chicken. So if you have um, in some pot locks, like I do, all you have to press is manual. Oh, it's already 18 minutes. Perfect. So 18 minutes because I have three pound chicken. But if you have um, in some pot duo, you press pressure cook and make sure it's on high pressure. If you would like to cook chicken, the whole chicken from frozen in some pot, yes, actually it's possible. I'm gonna link to the video and recipe below in the description. So it's gonna take in some pot about, I would say 10 minutes to come to pressure because it is not a lot of liquid and the smaller the pot the faster it comes to pressure so after cooking time is over you have to let the pressure come down on its own and in our case it took about 12 minutes and how do you know that the pressure is down and it is safe to open instant pot well this float valve should be down and actually instant pot is not gonna let you open the lid if it's not safe to do so all right so let's see Beautiful. All right, so how do you know your chicken is cooked? Well, you can insert the thermometer into this thickest part, and I'm gonna do that between the leg and body. And cooked chicken is around 160, 165 degrees. Oh yeah, this chicken is definitely cooked. So now this chicken, um, 
doesn't come out crispy. Thing you have to know is that Instant Pot does not crisp up anything because it's essentially a cooking method with steam. Sometimes you do get, oh my chicken was not crispy. It is not possible, but it is possible. So it's super tender and juicy. We can remove it and broil it. So how to do that? Keep in mind, it's really tender. So I'm gonna use all the tools I have. Here I have the big spoon and here I have another long handle salad spoon with the trivet. It's easier. Pray that it doesn't fall apart. That's how to see it is. This is actually a terrifying procedure. How did I do it last time? <laughs> I changed my mind. I'm gonna use this guy. I think that's how I did it last time. Maybe I should buy trivet with the handles. Lost a wing in the process. See, it's really tender chicken, but it's not a big deal. We're gonna attach it. Okay, I have an idea. <laughs> oh, we did surgery on chicken. And this golden liquid at the bottom of the pot, do not throw it away. You can make delicious soup with it. It could be like a chicken stock, or you can add more chicken and make chicken noodle soup, or you can actually add the bones from the chicken and make like chicken broth or more flavorful chicken stock. Don't throw it away. And you want to broil it at 500 degrees and it takes about 10 minutes. I tried 550 and chicken was burning a little bit. Okay, which part do you want? Which part? I want the leg. The leg? Not the wing? No. Oh, yeah, leg like after. Mmm, yummy chicken. <laughs> I think we need pork. Mm -hmm. mm. mm, so good. Good chicken. So, what do you think? Good chicken? Mm -hmm. How would you describe? Good chicken. Okay. Juicy chicken. If you like this video, give us this thumbs up below and subscribe right there. See you next time.